oh, it's a crazy week. It's obviously home for me. So uh, I see all the preparation and all the build up to race day. It's a week that I've lived all my life, not as a driver, but as a spectator for most of my life. And now I am racing here. I go into turn one, I break into turn one and I know, oh, okay, this is where my friend lives. And I think we are only 9,000 Monegas or 10,000 Monegas, but I know that every single one of them are behind me and uh, this means the world to me. Here we are, it's race week and uh, today is only Monday. I don't have anything to do on track yet. So uh, we are taking the boat to uh, an island quite close to here uh, called Ile de l'Erance. And uh, we're gonna train there with Andrea. No, not a full lap, but uh, a nice tour for sure. Let's go. Training dawn. How do you feel? Good, really good. I mean, it's perfect day to be honest. I mean, there's nobody here, so <laughs> I just run on my own with Andrea, and it's always nice. In Monaco, it's always busy. It's a beautiful place to run to, but especially the week of the Grand Prix, um, it's difficult to run. <laughs> Après l'effort, le réconfort. Bon, le, le réconfort, euh, quand il monte, t'as voulu, mon seul, t'as voulu, quoi. Mm -hmm. Je suis à la diète, mais oui, après le. Euh, mm. L'effort, le réconfort. I've grown up in this town. Uh, basically, we are going from uh, one side of Monaco to the other, and when I see in the balconies and, and I can recognize most of the faces, uh, this is what makes it special for me, yes. And uh, no better way to start the day with having a haircut by my mum in her haircut place. I don't know how we call that in English, but uh, yeah, I always do that before the race in Monaco, so no exception this year. No, we don't cut a lot. No, we don't cut a lot on the côtés. So that's a lot too long on the côtés, the I feel like we are going to do the commercial for a shampoo or something. You don't have to cut the camera Vous voulez couper les cheveux régulièrement Dès qu'il passe au Monaco, en général, il m'appelle pour que je puisse lui faire sa petite coupe d'entretien. Hein, Charles ah Oui, Il est comment comme client Non, ça va. Il est devenu plus soft. Mais il sait ce qu'il veut. Hein, Charles Oui. Moi, tu me dis toujours que je suis le plus chiant des clients. Hein. Ah, C'est peut-être parce que pour les caméras... <rire> pour les caméras, t'as le plus gentil. Non, non. C'est les clients les plus... Euh... Exigeants. Voilà. Il me pardonne pas la moindre erreur. Voilà. Bon, merci. Euh, J'ai Ouais. Mais d'abord, je me suis Allez, là, à partir de là, c'est son travail. On est bon. On est bon On est bon. On est prêt. Un ciao, maman, c'est pas lundi Oui. Bisous. Bisous. Ciao, ciao, merci. It's Thursday. And we're going to the track. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. <laughs> Quite a lot more media stuff because, again, it's my home race. So hi everybody, my name is Ricky and uh, welcome to my family flat here in Monaco. Every year with all of my friends we support Charles and we of course we look at the Formula 1 uh, Grand Prix. Uh, to be here and to, to see him pass through the streets where we grew up together and I already have goosebumps actually. Okay, name Joris aka Jojo or Joe for the, the close friend. We met uh, when we were 10. No, the first day we met, I remember him uh, with the Justin Bieber hair. I think that Charles knows 
where he comes from. Nothing has changed uh, since the beginning. I think he's expecting the race like uh, a little kid is expecting Santa Claus. Madonna. Quanto c'è questo? Dammi la bravo! Uno poco, poco! Noi se mi casca perché il pesce è in croce, il croce è bravo! No, no, no! no, 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 no. Oh, we go to tonight's dinner? Ma il yes, we go to tonight's dinner. Dov'è il pesto? Dov'è il pesto? Dov'è il pesto? Ma è rimasta la pasta sullo stomaco. <laughs> <laughs> Winning is what motivates me. The feeling of having achieved the best possible results with all the people involved, it's an incredible feeling. It's pasta night, diet tonight. But it's okay because it's my favorite kind of diet. Chef Leclerc is at it. He's in the house. Oh, like that like this. Pasta pesto. It's the pesto done by the team. By real chefs. I'm a mess. I know that half of this pasta will finish on the floor soon. We put the timer. Andrea. Okay, sto zitto. Lasciami stare. Lascia stare. Okay? Hai sempre bene mangiato. Vai, 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 vai. Hai sempre mangiato bene a casa mia. That's pretty good. Sometimes I wonder. How can I be so good at cooking, <laughs> at football, too many times. <laughs> J'ai l'impression que les pâtes du chèvre n'ont pas cuit. Everything <laughs> is under control. Need to go like this slowly. Honestly, to me, this looks amazing. This is what will make me win on Sunday. And we'll definitely cut that if I don't win. <laughs> si va a mangiare. I think most of the people in front of the TV are seeing the driver win. And oh, what an amazing job he did. But at the end, it's much more than that. It's time to eat. Let me try one. This looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> not, not good? Too bad, but it's a bit too hard. Mm. It's croquant. I mean, it's, not al dente, it's not al dente, it's croquant. I always say, people have to imagine my pilot de F1 and the guy who will see someone who will see me. And no, I've made pâtes and they're disgusting. So it's okay, we're going to eat them because we don't eat them. As I was saying, the preparation already starts uh, quite a long time ago for Monaco. So we've got a very important uh, dinner Wednesday with uh, all the team. It's a moment I really, really enjoy because that's when the team all regroups and uh, I've organized that with some activities. It's just uh, before the crazy weekend in Monaco because now uh, after from the Thursday they are completely flat out. Um, not much time in between sessions and um, so it's a good time just before the craziness starts uh, to have a moment together. Eh ouais, t'arrives pas le slice. Allez. Commence là. Practice day. It's Friday, baby. And then Friday is uh, when uh, all the outside activities calm down, and then it's time to race. Uh, is the time that I love most. Love is really important uh, in life. Uh, I think not only for me, but for, for everybody. I think everybody needs love. And uh, with my family, I have... Uh, uh, I receive a lot of love. Allez, maman, là, je te sens à l'aise avec les caméras et tout. Vas-y, Lorenzo, commence. My mom tells us very often that we need to However difficult the moment is, I think it's always really important to enjoy. Si, 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 non, il y a qu'un truc que je trouve important. C'est que je pense que quoi qu'il arrive dans la vie, chaque jour est un jour nouveau pour réaliser un rêve. À chaque fois qu'il démarre une nouvelle journée, c'est un nouveau départ. Tout simplement. When you look at families in motorsport, it's always about like family story. Because our dad was a... Um, I was a previous driver, he drove in, a, in, in, a, in Formula 3 in the 80s and all this passion in the family came from him. My mum and my dad were on the same line and, and were thinking the same way, so I, I kind of recognize what my dad would have said. My dad probably would have been more technical on some advices as my mum is not a, 
a driving professional. Um, but I feel more nervous for Arthur than, than I am for myself, that's for sure. Yeah, our father was the first Leclerc to race uh, in, in Monaco quite a few years ago. I think his first time was in uh, 1988. I was the second Leclerc to drive in those streets and the third Leclerc um, will have his first GP this year. I mean, it's my city, so I, I know it's all mine Monaco. Well. Sorry? It's mine as well. It's, it's yours <laughs> as well and you will see the feeling of it. You will love it. You will love it, so you need to, uh, to enjoy the moment, push at the maximum, and, uh, and I don't know, it's just a rhythm to take. Uh, in Formula 2, you don't have much time to practice before qualifying no. and go uh, on the absolute limit. So, um, so yeah, take it step by step, and, but you will be quick, I'm sure. As we said, we, we have been raised in Monaco. We've been watching this race since we are born, really with our family and uh, and yeah we've got all of our friends here all our family here all our che teachers uh, that have seen us miss school and uh, that have been very angry with us every time we were at school um, so it would be a good way i guess to show that um, it was for a good reason um, and it will obviously mean mean a lot to us i mean to have a brother in formula one is uh you, you need to have this experience, let's say, to build, uh, to build something uh, strong. Nice moments. I was surprised by the amount of people there was. I know that uh, many people from the outside think, oh yeah, but they are from Monaco, so they know the track. But it's, it's completely different. Whenever you get to those speeds uh, so low to the ground, you don't recognize the angle of the corners anymore, and it just is completely different. So you need to relearn a little bit your own city. What position is he? He's uh, P4. P4. For his it's first good. practice, he's good. Yeah, it's very good. Very good. I mean, I'm used to ride uh, Monaco in bus, so uh, obviously it's a bit of a change. But uh, no, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> amazing. Merci. So it's a it's a very very special city. All good. People are excited here. It's nice. It's getting crazier and crazier every year. So it's a good sign. In qualifying, if you lose 300s in a corner, this has quite a big influence. A qualifying is such a difficult, such a difficult exercise, but such an exciting one too. I think it's the moment of the weekend where you've got most adrenaline. Probably the most, not probably, the most important qualifying of the year because uh, then in the race it's quite difficult to overtake. So uh, we'll have to put absolutely everything uh, in that lap in Q3 and see where we are. And on a track like Monaco, this is very, very special. And to get into the car and know that you've got one chance, having the possibility to overstep the limit because the walls are the limit, it makes it very, very exciting and, and something I, I just love. We are going from uh, one side of Monaco to the other and uh, that's where all my youth was happening. Yeah, that's why I think it makes it very special.
difficult to extract the full potential of, of the car, but in Q3, um, in Q3, I, I really put everything together, so that was uh, that was good. Race ready. It's race day. Unfortunately, sixth. But it's Marco who will give it all. And everything is possible. I need to go and take my sunglasses on. Here we go. The classics. I have quite a bit of ray -Bans. Just a little bit. Ready. Race day. Ah, it's so beautiful. Bonjour, I'm sorry, I'm really at the bottom. Race day. Race day. In 50 meters, he's been insulted 10 times, the guy in the direct. Ciao. Ciao, thank you very much. Come stai? Dossio? Grazie bello. Come stai? Yeah. Uh, we need to maximize everything, so uh, let's see. We'll try to do something different than the others, and hopefully then we have the pace to make up some positions, but uh, we'll do our best, of course. Hello. Okay, so five words to describe Monaco. Um, number one, memories. For me, uh, I think uh, it's obvious. Excitement, adrenaline, unforgiving. Dreamed of participating to this race uh, with Ferrari even more. And, um, and yeah, if I can manage to win this year, that would be absolutely incredible. No, honestly, I don't believe in curse. Um, I mean, yeah, let's say that it hasn't gone the way we wanted in the last few years. I think last year we, everything was going well until the change of uh, track conditions and then unfortunately we lost the win, but just because we haven't been good enough last year. There's nothing around curse or whatsoever. I don't believe in that. I think you, you are winning when you are doing the perfect job and we didn't last year. Uh, and off the year before, unfortunately, we couldn't start the race because of a small part that broke on the on the formation lap, um, but yeah, this year is a new year, and um, and I don't believe in uh, in curse, so I'm I'm sure we can make it. So that's it uh, for my home race, um, I'm obviously disappointed, it's a very special week for me, there are many things but it's always very special uh, to drive around those streets and to be honest we had the performance to do a, a good job this weekend, unfortunately with the penalty um, we basically, uh, then it was really difficult to, uh, to do anything in the race, starting sixth. Coming towards the end of the race, uh, we decided to stay out on track to hopefully uh, get a safety car and gain some positions, but that didn't happen. But it's, it's like this. Uh, again, I think we all knew that it was going to be a difficult race after the penalty yesterday. 
And uh, yeah, thank you so much for your support. It's been a crazy week and uh, now uh, we are all going to work as hard as possible in order to bring the updates, the upgrades to the, to the car and hopefully uh, fight for uh, back at the top very, very soon. But uh, thanks again for your support and uh, I gave it all. It wasn't enough this weekend, but hopefully it will be uh, in the next few races.